탈 같은 경우는 한국의 고려 시대부터 내려오던 탈인데 고려 시대라고 그러면 거의 천 년에 가까운 역사를 가지고 있어요. 그래서 하회도 사실은 한국의 일부 지역의 이름이고 탈이라는 것은 얼굴에 가면을 쓰고 나 이외의 또 다른 사람들을 표현함으로 인해서 그 사람들의 어떤 모습들의 해학적인 것들을 표현해내는 그러니까 일반 국민들의 불만의 어떤 해방구 같은 역할을 했던 게 바로 탈춤이라고 봅니다. 그래서 탈을 한 조각 언제는 한 45년 됐고요. 탈을 만진 지는 한 20, 한 2, 3년. 전통이라는 건 우리의 역사이자 뿌리인데 이 탈을 아무래도 우리가 그 누군가에게 전하고 이렇게 전하지 않으면 이게 이제 사양 사업이고 탈을 아, 탈이라는 걸 우리 이제 후세에서 알 수가 없겠구나. 전해져서 저 위에서부터 전해져서 지금 내가 이 자리에 섰다는 걸 알려주려면 전통을 확실하게 알려줘야 되거든요. 그래서 이제 거기에 대해서 어, 내가라도 해야 되겠다는 그런 이제 그 어떤 자신만의 그 어떤 사명, 사명을 가지고 한 거죠. 레 마스크 바바리 몬딘 롱 다세 레 마스크 돈트 파브릭 비엔드 레스피라시온 수반 레 자니모 오시 소콤 데 토템 레 마스크 로코딜 파 엑잠플라 레 코코딜 에테 마스크 키 리프레젠트 레 에스프리 데 로우 엔 페 소티 레 마스크 로코딜 포 데만데 라 플루이 듀란 세 페리어 디피실 단세 카드라 포 레 마스크 On a ce type de type, ce type de masque qu'on est en train de sculpter dépend de ce du masque dont on a besoin et du besoin de la population par rapport au masque. Donc, ça veut dire qu'il y a un lien entre le sculpteur et les ancêtres qui lui transmettent l'inspiration. The mask belongs to the Boa people of Burkina Faso. Often, masks are animal figures. They also represent, in a general way, how close o r b o i s peoples are to animals and to nature. The plank masks are tablets of knowledge, and they are meant to pass the culture from one generation to next. Mask in general now is a way to show respect to the ancestors. La racine de notre culture, c'est La base de la société permettra à la jeune génération de comprendre ce que c'est que la culture. Ke Jia Ren, il est très attaché à la culture. Nous sommes en train de faire des choses qui sont en train de faire des choses qui sont en train de faire des choses. 像我们编修族谱，它是世代相传的。我们的客家先民的对这个修族谱的重视，用这也就是它的文化的根。我们就是以这个来传承的。像这一块板来，这这块板的是也是我自己创意的。在这一版应用当中呢，这是我们的客家祖地的一个牌坊。在那个这一块板面上设计的时候，它这边有两条龙。然后这个是我们最传统的客家的纹饰。我是来自中国，主要是在做中国传统工艺美术跟传统古典家具。那我们的做法就按中国老祖先说这个锁毛结构，里面这些都是可以拆写的，特别是锁毛结构这块是我们。传统家具里面的核心也是灵魂。做一个手艺人来理解，跟我们的初心不能变，我们应该把它应用好，让它能延续，延续它的生命。啊、哦，这个就是根的意义所在。我
这次带来的是木人桩跟六点半棍。咏春拳队在全世界通过李小龙已经推广出去了。那我们知道李小龙他是学咏春练功器材，最重要的是木人桩。很多人不知道哦，他因为他就是定位是什么？功夫就是功夫，功夫怎么跟木头有关系呢？实际他错了。那在咏春中呢，他有六点半棍，他六点半棍呢有三米多长，他起源于南方。有很多船，它撑船的动作。所以说，不管是木人桩还是六点半棍，木头跟功夫是一个相互关联的这么一个文化，能在国际木文化节来展示，来告诉人们啊，功夫跟木头有这么好的一个故事，这么好的一个渊源的文化，这是非常有意思的。昔はもう印刷物が全部木版画だったんですけれど、今はもうあの印刷物というよりは美術品として今残っています。多分ですけど、まあ1万人ぐらいがこういう木版画に関わった人がいたと思うんですが、今はもう東京に50人ぐらいしかいないです。江戸時代から300年以上続いてきて、でどんどんやっぱりあの仕事としては少なくなっているけれど。呃，やっぱりとても重要な文化だと思います。今回は日本の木版画のえっと僕はスリをやっていますのでスリの実演をしています。僕らは彫り師が彫った板を使って色を重ねていきます。昔はえっとお土産品とか、あとは今でいう新聞、あとはファッション雑誌、そういう意味を持ってたんですね。この絵自体、こういうえっと場所をえっと使わせていただいて仕事させてもらって、今まで見たことがない人、知らなかった人のためにえっとこの仕事を見てもらうと、こういう風に作られてるんだ、作り方を理解してもらうってことは非常に大切だと思います。我这一次带来的戏偶的尺寸，就是以前最传统，由福建泉州传到台湾的尺寸。那好处是说，刚好一个手掌大，适合操作。以布袋戏来讲的话，它的角色其实很多种了。那基本上，不管你做什么角色，尺寸就是要固定，方便更换衣服。方便更换帽子。我的木材是以樟树为主，樟它本身有防止蛀虫的效果，而且它也适合雕刻。跟哦，饮水思源嘛，你的本是什么？你今天这些东西是从哪里来？你的文化是从哪里过来？我的偶头粗胚，我希望从头到尾是用手工去制作。既然要制作，就按部就班。人家欣赏你的作品，就是欣赏在这一点。你今天把这个东西拿掉了，你那个价值就没有了Most of the stuff I make is for family. Folk art is a way of passing that kind of stuff on. It's something that somebody made a hundred years ago, and it tells about their lifestyle and their what they saw. It's passing on. 
it is roots. People coming up and asking about stuff, and I've had a few kids coming up. I love to give it to them and watch their eyes light up. You know, they're taking the little cutouts and have drawn on some of them. That's their folk art. To me, the theme of Roots means basically the background of all the different people that come to the Worldwood Day. So I think for me, um, the idea of Roots means basically the history of where your influences have been. For me, it's um, Southern traditional folk art because that's where what inspired me to start carving wood and making movable figures. I like making it, but I also like to add some sort of narrative so people can't look and think about it and figure it out. Inside every one of us are creativity. The time when you spend with your creativity, it's the greatest time what you can do that, uh, spend. Everyone who visited me in the workshop, they are very happy on the end when they used puppet which they create themselves. I think for all nationality, it's important to keep it their traditions. It makes me think about the roots of puppetry, about the roots. We have to feel the roots of our nationality in, in ourselves, to know where is our place, to know what we are. You know, I was raised in a community where traditions were important to us. What makes somebody wealthy is not money. It's the ownership of songs and dances. It's the knowledge of our stories. These canoes, the paddles, the bailers, the knowledge of how they actually operate on the water. My point is that all of these things are tied together in a way that is what makes our culture. Our ocean is really big and it's the canoe that keeps you alive. So when we treat a canoe well, it's going to treat us well. It's going to take care of us. We're very protective of the few things that we have that are truly ours. This craft of working in wood is the same way too. These little canoes have a lot of personality. You can express that in them. I am a Hopi toy maker specializing in Rianpi, which is a spinning top. It's a very simple toy. I believe that it is important to um, perpetuate our culture. I'm using that as a way to enhance the knowledge of our Hopi culture. So all of the designs I use, I include the Hopi designs with the meanings in them. So when the top moves, it tells the story. We work in cottonwood root. This is a very sacred piece of wood to us because we come from a place where there's no water. We're always constantly praying for rain, but we find a cottonwood tree, so we know that's where the water is at in the desert. Every time we use it, we're trying to bless the world with moisture. 
I look for things in the wood, you know, so sometimes you'll see a piece of wood and you'll see a figure in there and I try to bring that out. Like with this piece here, it's a corn maiden. So she's uh, representing the ear of corn, which is our mother corn. And all of these designs here are all migration symbols. So they represent travel and movement. I think it's really important to learn to do stuff like this because it connects you to place. If we have that, that mentality of roots, we go out and search for knowledge, you know, we go out and search for experience and then all of that experience turns you into a stronger tree, you know? <laughs> I bring Kachina dolls, stuff uh, introducing Hopi. It was an uh, um, aspect of uh, teaching young girls how to take care of a child and how much energy was in the world. Kachina, Katsi, meaning life. And giving that tree another life is Katsi. It's something that comes from the heart and comes from the mind and the life that we live as Hopi people. And we are the only Native Americans that create the Kachina dolls. Through all of history, art has been an expression of the culture. And so if you were looking at a complicated or multi-layered culture, you would have to see all of the art. This is a very uh, interesting event. It is uh, wonderful to see the different uh, cultures that are represented. It's fun to see. It's like a little window and you get to look into the culture. It's amazing. You know, you know what is this? There is no thing you see. You know? In all kinds of places, the most important thing is the most important thing in human life. I think it's important to see I think it's an interesting gathering and it's interesting to see what you may read about in a book, but it's another thing to actually be here, actually seeing with your own eyes. What I've seen and from the artwork of the different people from all over the world, a lot of it is based on traditional ways of woodworking, but with each individual's input. To summarize, the more you know about the culture, the more you understand the object, and the more you understand the value of the object to the culture. So without that, without wood, that message is lost. The more we can talk about that, the more we appreciate their views, the better chance we have of understanding our own planet. Say hi, come on, wave your hand. <laughs>